Hi, I'm Scott. Aiden. Leo. Lindsay. Animesh. Alec. Brooke. Sky. Preston. Michael. Rodney. Sherry. Colin. Luke. Nico. Matia. Mia. Mylan. Clara. It's your boy John Barron. Thanks for tuning in, and you're watching. Great job. Would you like to see your story featured on the Cat's Eye News? If so, email us. Please send us pictures, videos, or any other information you want included. You guys are the ones with the best stories, so sharing them with us will make the news way more interesting. While it may seem like months away, prom is just around the corner, and with prom, prom dresses. We talked to one student who was trying to make prom dresses more affordable. I'm Stella Camerlengo. I'm a senior. The project is basically a prom dress clothing drive uh, that has students uh, bring in dresses that are either used or maybe they've, their siblings have used and maybe they're too small for them. So they hand it over to me, I get it washed, um, and I basically donate them to people um, around the school and in neighboring schools who um, need them the most. In return, uh, they get a, a discount on the their prom ticket. Prom dresses are really expensive, um, especially nowadays we see it with like rising inflation, prices are going up constantly. It's a place where uh, you can just simply, simply get one free of charge. And regardless of uh, your income, your uh, household, like uh, economic status, um, you can get a dress for free and it's basically available for everyone. So yeah. Hey Novi, the Black Student Alliance will be meeting twice this month in room 220. They met yesterday and will meet again on Tuesday, January 24th from 3 to 4 p.m. For more information, you can join the Remind by scanning this QR code or emailing Spring at torre.spring at novik12.org. Have a great day, Wildcats. What's up, Wildcats? On Friday, Novi Dance Programs will have their winter showcase. It'll be at 7 in the auditorium. Make sure to be there to support. This Thursday, the GSA is hosting a show and tell, so feel free to stop by and bring something important to you. Overbreak, your Novi Wrestling team went to Gross Eel Tournament. They fought hard and achieved third place. What's up, Wildcats? Over the break, your bowling team played against Brighton and Howell, and boys' bowling team won against Howell. And then this past Monday, we also played against Canton. And although we didn't win, we got a bunch of really good scores. Hey Wildcats, the girls fell short against Northville. They take on Canton at home on Friday. Make sure to come support. The Nova hockey team took their annual trip to the UP where they went one and one with wins against Hancock and they lost against Hope. Big game tonight, 745, Nova Arena, Churchill, pop out. Hey Nova, your boys swim and dive team unfortunately lost yesterday against Northville, but they're hoping to bounce back tomorrow against Plymouth. Hey Nova, I hope you guys have had a great winter break. Over the winter break, our basketball team has played a couple of games. The first game they played Brighton, sadly lost 46 to 56. Then they played Stevenson, won 73 to 54. Sadly, we lost against Northville by only 10 points. Maybe next time, Nova. As you guys know, before winter break, there was the band concert, and I was curious about it, so I went to find out a bit more. The very first thing I did was, after the concert ended, I interviewed Hashem. All right, Hashem, so you're in symphony band, right? Yes, I am. All right, so what are your immediate reactions of your performance? Uh, I think we did really good. I think personally, I felt like I could have done things better, but I think overall, it was really good, and I'm happy with my performance. And we heard that some people were saying that all the bands were a little bit unprepared. Do you think that's true or do you think that's just real? I mean, that's kind of a normal thing being our first concert of the year. Um, I felt like we actually did good comparing that it was our first concert of the year. Um, you know, we'll just keep getting better and better and once we get to the spring concert, you know, it'll be our best performance. And then after the jazz concert ended, Leo interviewed Dylan, a member of the jazz band. Oh, hey, Dylan. So you're in the jazz band. Can yeah. you, uh, that was a wonderful performance there. Thank you. And can you tell me about your preparation? So basically the jazz band uh, prepares by practicing every day, except Fridays, especially near the end, we just grind it out, we practice, sometimes we go over the time, we usually practice 45 minutes a day, but sometimes during the end we just practice like 45 to an hour. Do you think all the hard work paid off? Absolutely. That was probably one of our best runs, I say. It is. Um, there was a part that uh, one of the trombones was messing up a little bit, but they nailed it the last performance and that was just perfect. 10 out of 10. After this, I passed the mic to Natalie, and she gave us a bit more information on the program overall. Hi guys, it's me, Natalie Vardamedian. I'm here to tell you all about band. Now first off, 
if you remember, we had a concert not too long ago. Well, usually before a concert, what we do is we do full run-throughs. You may be wondering, Natalie, what is a full run-through? Well, it's when you play the piece and the pieces together like you would actually do it in the concert. So we play a piece, then the next one, the next one. We see what we did wrong, and we run it again. And then when it comes time for the concert, we are ready. Yeah. And you may be wondering, what happens after a concert? Well... Other than just sit in a chair in our band room and just contemplate what we actually did wrong, we usually listen to the music recording. Now, for some reason, it's not been working, so we haven't been able to do that. But, yeah, we just go over and be like, hey, that sounded good. That definitely didn't. And usually in that process, we bring up what we want to play next. Um, for us, our next pieces are going to be about, like, festival and all that jazz. So, yeah, super cool. Well. It's been another year of NFL football that leads me to believe that chaos reigns supreme and you should just choose teams to win based off of joke reasons. Well, now I'm turning my back on this sound logic and I will be attempting to pick who I think will go to the Super Bowl. Based off of my thought process, I'm going to go with the 49ers for the NFC. The four big teams in the NFC are the Niners, the Eagles, the Vikings, and the Cowboys. Out of all four of those teams, the 49ers are the only ones who either have a healthy quarterback starting or don't consistently choke in the playoffs. None of the other teams really have the firepower in the playoffs to make it there, so that's why I think the 49ers are going there. In the AFC, there's a lot more options, and I'm not really sold on any of them. The Chiefs look great, but do you really trust their defense? The Bills have a high ceiling, but also have a really low floor when their offense falls flat. The Bengals look good as well, but they just lost one of their best blockers recently. Will they be able to go far in the playoffs without him? The Chargers have high-end talent, but they tend to choke a lot, and they aren't a complete team. I think I'm going to go with the Chiefs and hope Mahomes can catch fire with this team at the right time. I wait how wrong I'm going to be after both of these teams somehow lose in the first round, despite one of them having a bye. I also intend to have a more in-depth report of all teams in the playoffs by Friday, so if you're interested in that, check the channel and see if that's out. Thank you for watching. What's up, Novi? Before winter break, we recorded a video that was supposed to air on December 23rd, but due to the snowstorm, it's airing today. You want a kiss? Yes or no? No, thank you. All right, well. <laughs> What's up, Novi? Today, we're giving out free kisses. Butter chocolate. You want a kiss? I do. Here you go. Oh, thank you very much. That's very cool of you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it fell down. <laughs> Melon, you want a kiss? Mm. <laughs> this is tempting. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a kiss. See? That's how you win life. Yeah. Yes. I would love a kiss. Do you want a kiss? Um. It's haram. What? Oh, is that? It's haram. So you can't eat chocolate kisses? Oh my god, wait, yes I can. Okay. Yeah. You want a kiss on I Imesh? Kiss. I want a kiss. All right, I'll, I'll take one. I want a kiss. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take a kiss. I see a bag of Hershey kisses, so yes. Okay. Scott, you, here? you want a kiss? What? No. Even if it's chocolate? Oh yeah, give me that. All right. It's your boy, Sky Wakey. Would you like a free kiss? Would you like a, a free Hershey's chocolate kiss? Thank you. Yes. Yes, please. Yeah, I'll take one. I'll love a free kiss. I don't know about you, but I'll take what's ever behind that poster. Yeah. All right. Alec, Alec, would you like a free kiss? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Holiday Riz. Holiday Riz. They're you know unfortunately they the chocolate. Those. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, yo. What kind do you want? Actual kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, dog. <laughs> what were you thinking? I was no comment. All right, moving on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. I want a kiss. I got the mouth. No. What's your name, young man? Isaac German. All right. All right. All right German. Yep. Is it like your sister's Abigail? Yes. Oh, I love your sister. Not like that. No, 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 not like that. Not like that. No, no. That's not what I meant. Anyone else want kisses from your boy, John Barron? Once in a lifetime opportunity. No. No. I'm okay. I'm good. No, thank you. No, thanks. Thanks for watching the Cat's Eye News. See you Friday.